Hi, welcome to the Fitness Forum. My name is Kathy Ekdahl and I'm a certified personal trainer and a strength and conditioning specialist here in Hudson, Massachusetts. Uh, today, as you can see, we're out of the studio. We're actually at the International Golf Club in Bolton, Massachusetts. And I thought it would be a great opportunity for me to show you some golf-specific exercises that you can add to your current exercise program. Of course, if you're watching this and you're a golfer, then you know that a lot of the things you do on the golf course are about rotation of the spine. So sometimes people have difficulties rotating the spine because of injuries, uh, back problems, um, disc problems. That can really hamper your golf game. One of our goals is to train the spine, to train the torso, to train the hips, to be able with, to withstand the forces of golf. If you want your back and abs and shoulders and hips to not get injured, if you want to drive the ball far, hit the ball far off the tee or on the fairway, you have to work on rotational exercises. So today I thought here's an opportunity to come out of the studio with some of this wonderful golf specific equipment here and work on rotational exercises. Now this piece of equipment happens to be something specific for golf, but everything I do on here can be done at your local gym. So most gyms have a piece of equipment called a cable crossover. And on a cable crossover, you can move these cables up and down on a column so that you can do all kinds of different rotational movements. You can adjust the cable so it's high. You can adjust the cable so it's low. So anything you see me here do today, you can do at your gym. Of course, in addition, for those of you who might not work out at a gym, anything I'm doing here with these pulleys, you can do with elastics at home. So you can find the elastic tubing at Bob's store, order it through a catalog or even Walmart, and you can attach it to a door or a railing and do all of the exercises that I'm going to show you here today. So as always, we're going to start with a warm up. Um, this happens to be a piece of equipment where these arms can move in multiple directions. But again, when you're at your gym, you just take the cable crossover pulley and bring it all the way up to the top. All right, now as we chop, we're going to bring both hands onto the cable. My right foot is back, and I'm really thinking about using force to pull it across. I almost just decapitated myself. That's the one thing when you do this, you got to be a little careful as the cable comes across. So I am turning my body. I am bringing the cable across to my left knee. Now one thing, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a few more of those, but one thing before I do it, we know that one of the secrets to hitting the ball far is how quickly your hips can turn. If your hips are slow to turn, or if they lag too much behind your arms, you're not going to get power in your swing. So when I chop from high to low, my legs are really what's driving this. I should be feeling, it's not my arms, that my legs are driving this work. OK, I'll do a few more. And this is not like your golf swing. I don't want you to think that it is. Okay, but it's preparing the muscles with speed to move weight. It's said that at impact, the force on your spine is equal to that of being hit by a football lineman. So people underestimate the force on the spine when you hit the golf ball. Because generally at impact, you're in kind of a little funny point. You're not straight on, right? So there's a lot of forces being generated at the spine. That's why so many people hurt themselves in golf. So I'm going to show you a slightly simpler variation. Again, if you're going to chop, here's chop from my right to my left. I would also want to chop from my left to my right. But I won't show you that today. What I do want to show you is another way to rotate this cable that's a little bit simpler. So if you're having a hard time with a high to low chop, one way to just do it is do it straight across your body. Again, you would move the cable crossover until it's about at waist height. 
I'm going to step away slightly from this. And now it's like I'm hitting a softball or a baseball. And I really want to finish. So as I come across, I got to finish all the way. Now for me right now, this is a little weird because it's like I'm hitting lefty. It's like I'm golfing lefty. But the drive that I'm trying to get through my waist here is very important. Okay? Notice my arms are straight. I am not using my arms to push or pull the cable. They are coming along for the ride. And you can see how I'm really using my hips to do that. Okay? I'm going to pull this cable system down. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. So again, I'm really thinking about a little speed, too. Now, who is this not good for? Well, this is why you want to tell your doctor what you're doing. If you have a serious back injury, some herniated discs, this is not where you start. Of course, if you have a serious back injury or you have some herniated discs, you probably shouldn't be golfing. All right, so you can see how I'm moving it with speed and force. OK, so the least thing you should do is include some type of chopping. I like high to low, but if it's a little hard, you can come across your body as well. 